Hey guys, all right, so I finished um, twisting up the other sides of my hair and I wanted to, with the exception of this one right here, because I just wanted to show you guys one more time how I do it as well as that technique that I was telling you about. I know you're wondering where is my hair at and that's the technique that I was talking about. But anyway, like I said, with the Tui Moisturizing um, Leave-In Conditioner, um, Curl Enhancing Smoothie, um, curl and style milk and I'm just gonna spritz a little bit more of this on here because after you go through and, and twist up all of your hair um, some parts of your hair get some um, dry again so I'm just gonna spritz it one more time and like I said in the previous um, segment since the hair was already previously coiled and um, coiled into spirals um, you know with the wash and go I'm not I don't comb or brush or detangle out those spirals. My um, purpose of the wash and go turn twist out is to then twist the spirals. So I feel like that's the reason why um, I get such a successful turnout is that I, I don't mess with the, um, the curl pattern of the wash and go. I just enhance it. So, um, so yeah. So this part, like I said, you know, I just two-strand twist it. All the way down. And um, now that technique that I was telling you guys about, um, which, has, which helps me, is that, you know, when I'm trying to get that extra uh, length in you know from my um, my twist outs now what I've been doing is that I will turn the hair the two strand twist taut as if I'm going to try to make a bantu knot but I'm going to hold it straight and I'm just going to pin it back you could pin it back you could pin it side as you can see this is the end of a, of a braid that was coming this way so ultimately it doesn't have to necessarily be that you're pinning it to the back just pin it away from the direction in which you twisted it from so this one I'm gonna I'm gonna join it together with that one because I don't have that many pins on me right now but um, ultimately you know I do the two strand twist and then I twist it out till it's taut and then bring it to one side of my hair so that I, I'm pulling on it and I'm causing tension on the twist. So that's pretty much the technique and you know it's all pinned up and um, it's easier to sleep on this way and I don't have to worry about any twist coming out while I'm sleeping. So um, tomorrow when I wake up I'm going to show you guys the results and um, I'll see you in the AM alright? Bye. Hey there. So, um, I woke up and took the pins out, you know, that I added to stretch out the twist. And like I said, this was a wash and go. And, um, turned twist out. So, took most of them out. Just wanted to come in and show you guys, um, you know, the remainder. Because I'm taking them out and you see all of them are laying flat according to the way that I pin them down. So at this point, as you can see, I pinned, you know, with a part. So I pinned this side down that way. Um, and then I pinned that side down that way. Uh, so there's one more. So um, that's the way it came out after I took out the twist. So now I'm just going to fluff it up and go. I mean, as the day goes by, you know, it's going to get bigger and um, 
and I like it this way. I like it bigger either way. You know, I think it's come back and let you see how it um, looks tomorrow after it gets bigger. All right, so um, thanks for watching. Have a good day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, um, so I wanted to just come on and show you guys um, how it's looking a second day here. So ultimately, you know, shrinkage did come back, and that's cool with me, that's fine. But I wanted to also reiterate and show you guys, you know, the coils and um, the definition of the coils just to I guess really let you guys know that you know when I um when I bring my wash and goes to twist outs you know why I don't detangle and comb it out before I retwist is because I do want to preserve the coils so that's why I just take it section by section and use whatever moisturizer I'm using to allow the hair to be more manageable and I just twist it back yeah, up. So this is the finished product again tonight. I'm going to retwist and you're going to have the same results that I showed you before. So I hope you guys liked, you know, this segment of the series as far as, you know, converting a um, wash and go into a two-strand twist. And I'm coming up with other ideas for, you know, my hair. It's not really a TWA anymore, but it's still short, natural hair. So, you know, these little tips are helping. So... Um, coming up with new ideas and I hope you guys appreciated this one and liked it and um, I'll see you in the next one. Alright, bye